What's going on? Dude, what are you doing? How much match? Just chilling. I'm trying to film a video here. Can you go somewhere else? Oh, what's the video gonna be about? I'm just telling the peeps that I got new tires for the bike. Man, you're still bitching by the tires. They're not even that Ooh. bald. They're pretty bald, and I'm not trying to risk it, so I don't even know why you're bitching. Like, do you not know what this means? Uh, that you're a little bitch? God, no, dude. Mandatory burnouts. Wait, what? Mandatory burnout? Hold on. <laughs> this guy. Okay, if anything, ready. I'm the one that's gonna be doing the burnout, so give me that helmet. Man, bye bye. Fuck this. You know this guy? Here, let me show you the tires. Hi right, guys, let me show you the tires real quick. Put the bike out here. Ready to do the burnout. As you can see, they're pretty bald. Uh, I hope you can see. They're pretty bald. They got a flat spot here up top. You can't even see where the wear bar is anymore. So these tires are gone. She's hella dirty right now. And then the front ones. The front ones aren't too bad. They still have a little bit of life in them, but I mean, I want to match the tires. So that's why I just went and bought two of them. But here they are. I went with Pirelli Rosso Corsas. Look at that red pattern right here. It's a really nice red pattern. But I decided to go with, go with these tires because I read the reviews and everybody seemed to love them. They're saying it's a super sticky tire and uh, knowing me, I'm probably going to do some stupid shit. So I need to have a pretty good tire and because I'm going to be rated pretty aggressive. So don't want to fucking eat shit. Do the burnout, take the wheels off, take them and them, smile and balance. I'm pretty excited to have them, see how they handle. But here she is. I'm also going to be doing the white lettering on the sidewalls. So like, I uh, hope you can see, because I can't see from the camera, but like the Pirelli and the Rosso and the Corzas. I'm doing the tire lettering, I'm gonna paint them, but I need to get them mounted first because once they fill with air, they expand, and if I paint them like that right now, and then they fill them with air and put them in the rim and they expand, the paint might crack and not last as long, so that's why I haven't done it yet. But, yeah, let's get, a, let's get her warmed up. I haven't even warmed her up. I completely fucked up. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but look at my garage door now, man. It's all fucking covered in fucking rubber. Oh, look at that shit. That shit went all the way up here. Like, you got little spots right here. And I got this nice little 
mark right here that it's probably gonna be a bitch to get off, but totally worth it for a burnout on a tire. Guess it's not too bald after all. I mean, there's not even wires. It's, it's just starting to peel off. I think if I would have kept going a little bit longer, definitely, I thought it was gonna pop on me. That's why I stopped it so soon. Oh man, look at that. Got rubber pieces all up in there. Damn, good thing I already had a plan to clean this. But look at that. Probably should run on the sides a little bit more. Man, yeah, that's not gonna be easy to take off. <laughs> and then the garage is gonna be a bitch to clean too. Fucking hey, we go one more. I don't really want to pop it because I don't want it to get to the rim. Because I think if I, I think if I go a little bit longer, it definitely pop. But you can see some. I think it's pretty much right there at the wires. A little bit longer, more. I'll do another mini one. Actually, no. I'm just gonna take the tire off like that as it is. I don't want to make it harder for myself to clean afterwards because that already looks like a bitch to clean. All right guys, don't mind the helmet hair at all. My hair's like shit right now because of the helmet, but I was like, Mike, stop doing a little bitch. Just do a little bit more burnouts and I made a masterpiece, a work of art. Check this out. <laughs> I had to use fucking a little bit of glass cleaner because it got, the tire got way too hot and it was, it was gripping like a motherfucker, but I had to use a little bit of glass cleaner to get it away, get that initial slip. But look at that. <laughs> Looks like it's winking. I wish I would have made the thing a little bit wider, but that's it for now for fun and games. I need to get the tire off and put those bad boys on and fucking A, man. Clean this shit somehow. All right, I'm about to start taking shit apart. Don't mind my garage, it's fucking dirty as fuck, full of shit. Been procrastinating and cleaning it, but that's how she looks. No wheels. <laughs> looks pretty funny, actually. But those of you who know me, know who this bitch is. Another project, too, that I gotta start working on. But yeah, I gotta get going to the shop. Got the tires right here. Yes, yeah, my fucking truck's a mess. It's my daily driver. It's my work truck. Got the other tires there. All right, so. Beat traffic, finally at the store. I'm loaded up and I'm just at the I'm in balance. Those are the super courses right there. I'm gonna run a street setup and a track setup and that's what I want. Zach. Zach. Former cycle car welcome. Yep. Let's see what it takes to swap some tires out on a 2014 Yamaha R1. And had a little bit of fun as you can see before. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't go all the way though. I just didn't want to 
pop in how we get on the rim and damage it. Yeah, I heard really good things about them on forums. Hey guys, well, here's the finish and product. Doesn't look too bad. I think it came out pretty decent. For a rush job, pretty good. Just gotta see how it lasts once they wash the wheel because it's super dirty. Look at that. I think it looks good. Better than how it was. It really makes it tire pop a little bit more. And I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm not gonna add the reflector because maybe next time. I don't know. If I'll ever have to repaint them in the future, I'll probably use a reflector. Alright guys, well here's the first look on her brand new tires. Paint makes it makes the tires pop out a little bit. I just need to tighten up the chain. Clean it and loop the chain, do an oil change, wash it, and she's ready to go. Alright guys, well Time I show my bike some love and give her a little wash. Now, this took another day because weather's been super shitty and I've just had so many projects to deal with at school, but finally getting her done. It's an outside side, sun is out. Look at that. She's so dirty right now, especially the wheel back here, but I'm gonna take care of that right now.
you guys. Well, there she is. Nice and clean. I just have to let her dry like this since all my uh, drying towers are super dirty right now. So I just have to let her air dry. Bitch to clean this rear wheel. But finally got it nice and shiny. And then the tires held up. I mean, the tires, the ladders held up a little bit. Not too bad. The fronts look way better. But, man, much needed to clean. And I still have to <laughs> clean my burnout. Just got a little dry right now. It's a fucking awesome day to ride. So, as soon as she dries up, I'm gonna go up to the mountains. Still have to scuff those tires in. And I rode it a little bit. But I mean, in the city, you're not gonna get much, you're not gonna lean as much unless you're fucking hauling ass. But as you can see, like this is where it's starting to be scuffed in, but I still need to scuff in this part. Same as the rear. You can still see those lines from being a brand new. But middle, scuffed a little bit. I just need to go to the mountains and scuff the sides. So yeah, I'm a, now that it's clean, I might do a little photo shoot, take it downtown or take it up the mountains, take a picture of it. Follow my Instagram. That's where I keep everybody pretty much updated of stupid shit I do and when I'm gonna upload a video. So, all right, deuces. Fuck.